Hello and good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live on February 14th, 2023. And I am not going to spend a whole lot of time on introductions. I'm going to jump right into it. We have a great guest with us today. It is Michael Cleveland from our offices up in Frederick. Michael, can you believe it is already halfway through February? Yeah, that happened really quick. It feels like it was just Christmas a couple days ago, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. it's pretty unbelievable. And time is flying by extra fast because we have got something really exciting coming up next week. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. So next Friday, we will be having a breakfast event at Dutch's Daughter uh, alongside our partners at Galaxy Key. Uh, we'll be doing a little bit of networking, having a nice light breakfast together, and then we're going to uh, dig into the topics of uh, email security, uh, cybersecurity, um, and how Galaxy can fit into that puzzle. And I've also got a link right there in the description. The first comment is uh, listed right there. It's the link to the website that's got the location where you can register for seats. The event is free. Uh, to anybody in the in the Frederick community that wants to learn about the importance of data protection, data security, it's going to be a breakfast event, and it's going to be at Dutch's Daughters, which I've been there a couple times, Michael. But tell just tell everybody a little bit if they're not familiar. Tell us a little bit about Dutch's Daughter. Well, if you haven't been Dutch's, it's definitely it's probably in my top five restaurants in all of Frederick. It's been around forever. Um, one of the best steaks you're going to have in probably the state of Maryland. Uh, great crab soup and stuff like that and the big uh beautiful building uh the dining space is tremendous all kinds of wood uh, one of the few places you can go in frederick that has ample parking uh so we're, we're always a big fan of doing events over at dutch's and they're great partners for us absolutely and we've actually done a couple events there you're right about the parking that's actually probably my favorite thing about it, is we're able to just pull up and park and, and go inside. And we always have right up there in the top room, which I, I believe is where we're going to be in on uh, next Friday. It's on the 24th. I don't know if I said that earlier, but it's going to be February 24th, and it's going to be a breakfast event. So we're going to be starting at 8.30. So it's not going to interrupt your day. You could show up there and get a little bit of breakfast. We're going to be doing the presentation. By 10 o'clock, we'll be all wrapped up. You can head back to work, and nobody has to be any the wiser. And this is definitely something you're going to want to be involved with if you have anything to do with data in your office. And believe it or not, that's everybody. Michael, do you know anybody that doesn't hand in the year 2023 that isn't responsible for handling data in, in any organization these days? Oh, no, absolutely not. It's ubiquitous. Um, and companies are viewing cybersecurity now more than ever as uh, an institutional issue and not just IT's problem. Uh, so you really uh, see it going throughout organizations that way. Yeah, we've started to delve some into some of the trainings and stuff. We've been saying it for years, but I feel like people are finally starting to catch on to the simple fact that, you know, it's not just an IT problem. Cybersecurity is not an IT problem. IT can help, but when it comes to things like, you know, uh, social manipulation, when it comes mm -hmm. to things like, you know, getting information from people using, you know, all the different techniques like spear phishing and everything. You can't necessarily block that stuff with just a spam filter, right? Right, exactly. I mean, um, and you're 100% you're right. Cybersecurity uh, has to be looked at through a social lens. I mean, when people think of cybersecurity, the first thing that probably come to mind are firewalls or proxy servers hardware-based protective layers. Um, but the truth is what you're saying is that the most important line of defense is the person sitting at the computer. So alongside of those things like uh, the training uh, that is excellent, that you know gives them the advantage, you, companies really need to make sure that they have the infrastructure in place uh, to enable their workers to engage in secure behavior. So making sure platforms are in place that they can easily use for secure document sharing, encrypted emails, multi-factor authentication, um, virtual environments, and, and endpoint protection. Um, and then you really have to approach security you know, culturally within your organization uh, because, like you said, we're going to keep relying on social sciences to inform cybersecurity best practices and not just those technological innovations. And, and, and touching on that just a little bit, I know a little later this week, pr tomorrow, and then uh, maybe even on Thursday, and then some next week, we're going to actually have some of the uh, some of the people that's involved in the company 
that's going to be uh, promoting this breakfast with us. The company's name is Galax Key. So I know you don't need to get into too much detail about it because I know that uh, we're going to be having them on talk a little bit more. But just kind of, can you give us an idea of what is Galax Key? And you mentioned a platform. Um, yeah, absolutely. So what Galax Key does that's unique um, in terms of how they protect data uh, is it's a true you know end-to-end -end encryption platform. And uh, by platform, I mean they have software that can integrate with like your Outlook uh, on you know Windows, Mac systems. It integrates with your current system, and you can use it to securely send uh, encrypted emails. Um, you can work on shared documents simultaneously in a secure environment. Uh, you can uh, document share, and really, it's all the control is put in your hands. Um, you're in charge of your keys, uh, so it's it's a really unique. Uh, problem solving tool uh, that can secure your data as you send it from one end to another. You know, and as we're talking about high technology and, and being in Frederick and Dutch's daughter and all the stuff that that involves, I know one of the people that we've been inviting and that has been out there pushing air cause has been a, an organization called Tech Frederick. Can you tell us a little bit about what Tech Frederick is and kind of what they do? Yeah, uh, we love partnering with Tech Frederick. Um, I mean, not only are they just fantastic people uh, and throw great events, um, uh, but they're heavily involved in developing the tech workforce in Frederick. Uh, so they essentially make grant money available to in, to severely reduce the cost of tech training programs and certification programs, uh, and offer those up to folks uh, to you know in increase the tech savviness of our Frederick workforce. And they really want to uh, see that the employees are in this area as all these great biotech companies and uh, you know, data centers and stuff move into the area. Uh, so they're a great partner and they're, they're a nonprofit. They're doing really, really fantastic things to enhance our tech workforce. And actually, if you take a look at our events page and go to the Eventbrite page, you'll actually see one of our past events was uh, we partnered up with Tech Frederick and there's uh, some cool video uh, of them being involved in getting interviewed and stuff like that. So that's a cool thing to check out. Tell me a little bit more about, you know, for people that aren't familiar, I know this lunch is for Frederick, but we're seen all over the, uh, the Appalachian region. Tell me a little bit about Frederick, Michael. How long have you lived there? Uh, what's the town like? What's the culture like? Tell me a little bit about it. I love the place um i was born and raised here now i was gone for about 10 years and just moved back home a couple of years ago um but i absolutely love frederick uh the town itself is fantastic and that's it was kind of lost on me for a little while because i have been around frederick so long that all the charms uh you know lost their lost their charm uh so what's nice is now that i get to entertain people from out of state or even out of country uh, in fact, Tony from Galaxy, the first time he came over, I took him out uh, in downtown Frederick to have some lunch. Uh, he was blown away. You know, we have the pretty uh, little creek and all of the murals and artwork, uh, the historic buildings that are, you know, updated to, uh, you know, have modern companies in there, but still maintain their historic charm. Uh, I And the food, the food is fantastic. Uh, me being a, a food person, Fresh to perfect for me, um, <laughs> uh, but it's a really, really great, sweet little town. Uh, all kinds of historic buildings, 200-year-old banks on the corners, uh, and we love to be able to bring in people from outside of the area and get an opportunity to see it as well. And it's pretty close to Washington D.C. Is that one of the? You think that's one of the reasons it's got a lot of culture, a lot of history to it? Yeah, I mean the the town has been around longer than America. Uh, and what is nice is, yeah, you have major metropolitan areas nearby uh, and so over the years it's really become uh, incredibly multicultural uh, and very diverse which i love so you see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of that kind of right over the city awesome well michael that's all we have time for today believe it or not it's, it seems like you could probably talk for another couple hours about frederick oh always Great. Well, Michael, I really appreciate you popping on here today. Tell us a little bit about our Taking Data Seriously breakfast, and we are really looking forward to that. If you're watching this, see the link. Go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and register now. We've only got, we've got a very limited number of seats at it, and I don't want you to miss out. So if you're watching it, go ahead and register now. 
And I will see you all tomorrow. We'll be sp speaking some more about the event coming up with the, our friends from Galaxy Key. So looking forward to that. Until then, have a great day. And I'll talk to you later.